Hi, I'm Charlie Kasov. I'm a math teacher. And today we're going to learn the advantages and the disadvantages of the Roman numeral system. Now, the, we should start with the disadvantages first because there's far more of them. Uh, first, and most importantly, there's no zeros and no fractions in Roman numerals. That makes practical math impossible with the Roman numeral system, especially in modern mathematics. Now, another disadvantage is that, for example, this is V, which is a Roman letter, and this is 5. And if you forget the top line and the bottom line, it's very confusing between numbers and letters. Uh, another disadvantage would be uh, the fact that the rules are kind of weird. For example, here's 5, here is 6, VI, 651, but 1, 5 is 4. So if the smaller number is before a bigger number, then you have to subtract the smaller number from the bigger number. But if the smaller number is after the bigger number, then you add it on. That is different from our system, because this is 5, 1, and this is 1, 5. So this would be 51, and this would be 15, but not in Roman numerals. Now, I would say the only advantage to the Roman numeral system is that it looks impressive in modern society. For example, the Super Bowl. You wouldn't go see Super Bowl 50, but you might go see Super Bowl L. Um, and the thing with the, uh, you know, the, the impressiveness of it is it's fine to use it as like a formality. Like at the end of a movie, the copyright is usually written in Roman numerals. But no copyright lawyer would actually ever refer to it in Roman numerals. So I'm Charlie Kasov, and you just learned the advantages and the disadvantages of the Roman numeral system. Thanks a lot. Thank <laughs> you.